Hello and welcome to Doing Does DVD. Today it's time for Marvel May number 5 and Captain America, the first Avenger. Much like Thor, I have found among friends I have talked to about these things is that Captain America gets kind of split reviews. It's, a, it's either a love it or hate it kind of thing. And as a character, I kind of have to agree. Of the Avengers, I, he's probably one of the least interesting to me. But in most cases, a film isn't carried by one character alone. And so despite that, I find myself really enjoying this film. And I think that's partly to do with the change in era. It's got a very different feel to the other MCU films, with it being set in World War II rather than the present day. And along with elements like Hydra and the Red Skull, it kind of feels a bit more comic booky than some of the other entries in the MCU, which are trying to take a slightly more realistic view on the subject matter. It's fun. It doesn't take itself too seriously. The music's great. The action's great. It introduced us to Agent Carter, which can never be a bad thing. Thing. Biggest problem I have with it, I think, is the end. Obviously it's necessary to get Captain America into our present time. But the whole waking up in the present day thing at the end kind of feels tacked on. But I also understand we need that scene somewhere in the MCU and there's not really anywhere else to put it. It wouldn't fit to get the beginning of Avengers, for example. There wouldn't be time. And, but it's one of those moments that a lot of people do find a little bit irritating about the MCU, which has been more of a problem in the more recent recent entries, but even then, I guess that was the start of it, where each film was having to spend some time setting up the next one rather than just dealing with itself. But generally, if you just sit back and go along for the ride, it's a really enjoyable film. But the question is, how enjoyable? Let's bring up our ranking list. Now I can say without a doubt that it's definitely better than Iron Man 2. That's probably a starting point I'm going to be using a few times during this series. So it's better than Iron Man 2. The question is, where is it in relation to Thor then? I'm feeling at the moment that it is definitely below Iron Man and sort of around the same level of Thor. But I think the fact that in the end I prefer Thor as a character over Captain America just edges that out. So Captain America, the first Avenger, gets the third spot. Agree, disagree, possibly things are getting a bit more complicated now. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time with Avengers.